California in the 1930s, paragraphs 5 through 7. Mexican Migrant Workers Paragraph 5. Before the 1930s, at least three-fourths of California's farm workers were Mexican or Mexican-American. Farm owners recruited them, believing they would be tolerant of miserable living conditions because they earned more in the United States than they did in Mexico. By the 1920s, at least three-quarters of California's 200,000 farm workers were Mexican or Mexican-American. Paragraph 6. As the Great Depression took a toll on California's economy during the 1930s, however, Mexicans and Mexican-Americans became targets for discrimination and removal. White government officials claim that Mexican immigrants made up the majority of the California unemployed. White trade unions claim that Mexican immigrants were taking jobs that should go to white men. In reality, a new supply of white refugees desperate for jobs was flooding California from the Midwest, making up the majority of the unemployed. Paragraph 7. White farm owners also complained because their farm workers were starting to strike. Mexican and Mexican-American farm workers have started to band together, often with other non-whites, and organize strikes to protest lowered wages and worsening living conditions. Agriculture in the United States was crippled due to the ongoing Dust Bowl drought in the Midwest, but California was relatively untouched. These protests and strikes worried the farm owners because it would cost them their chance to profit immensely from the supply of cheap labor.